In the last video, I showed you how to use the transparent session, and we also gone through the example that's given in the OmniK5022 documentation. In this video, I'm going to use all the same commands, but to activate a MiFare Plus tag. And at the end, I'm also going to show you how to convert a MiFare Plus to a MiFare Classic. So I'm not going to explain the commands in this video because I have already done that in the part one. So what I've done here is, also I'm not going to show you the reader writer because uh, uh, I, I have got no enough USB port on the laptop. So what I've got here is, I've got a brand new MiFare Plus tag and I'm going to activate that. Meanwhile, you know, during this process, you're going to see how the the two anti-collision steps work so first you're going to say enter the session enter the transparent session we have seen this command we got a positive reply and i'm going to turn off the antenna this is the command you got a positive command then we have to set the protocol here and next is I'm going to, we, we, because this sets a protocol to IS-4143A. Then we're going to set the speed to 106 kilobits per second. This is the command we have seen before. Now, the first, the anti-collision, sorry, this REQA. So REQA says so the first request here to send this to, uh, to the tag. And we have seen this command. We know what is this 0A. This means enable the parity bit of both uh, tx and rx and 07 means send only the seven bits so send we got if you look at here the response is zero zero see zero zero this is the uh this is the what the hrd success and this is the eight bits we got this uh, four four and zero zero so we have to check in you know, what is 4400. I'm going to show you the document where you can find all this information. We have seen this document before. Now, this is the command structure for REQA, and we got the response 4400. After that, we are going to send the first, this is called the, the cascade level 1 anti collision. So, we have to do both anti collision and the select process. We have done this before as well, so let me grab this, uh, the first anti-collision step, send. Now here we got these five bytes. These five bytes are what you have to send for the next select command. So if you see the, the documentation here, so for first anti-collision you got this uh, response and whatever you get, all the five bytes, you have to send it for the next select command. In fact, you know, we have used this command before. So take this command out. You know, I'm going to paste all these commands in the in the comment section of the YouTube. So if you look at here, this XX, what you got here, that needs replacing by the output you got from the first anti-collision. So if you're using the software, don't forget to remove the blanks. So here we got the result 00, zero. we got zero 04, we have seen this command as well. If you go see in the documentation, so we are here, so we got SAK, which is a zero 04. So we have done the select one. Next we have to do the anti-collision, uh, the cascade level 2. So we just have to send 95 and 20 again here. So we still send the full byte, but the parity needs setting here. So I'm going to grab that command here. This is the cascade level two. Okay, and the things we're going to look at here is another you know, zero, a same thing. It's just a parity, both Rx and Tx parity bit. 
everything in a way we know so we got we got all the remaining bits we got so this is the remaining part of the uh, the uid and the bcc again you have to refer this uh, documents So in the cascade level two, you get SN SN three, SN four, SN five, SN six, and the BCC two. Now you need to send all these five bytes to the select two command. So this is the one. So select two command success you should be receiving. You know, it's a zero zero in the success. So let me try sending this uh, select two. Now in select two, you have to keep this in mind. You know you have to send the parity bit. BCC is what we receive from the response in the anti-collision two. You have to send that, and the CRC. So both the parity and the CRC bit are set. We have seen this uh, before as well. I have to replace this uh, five bytes with the uh, whatever response you got in the cascade two. okay so the response here is zero 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 and we got two zero now let's see whether two zero make any sense now we got a response as zero zero but i got two zero so it's something to do probably with, with the type of the the type of the card so I think this is the one. So we got this uh, zero zero. You can see here and zero two. It's two zero. Sorry. Let me check. So we got it two zero. Now if you look at this uh, document I have here. Now for all the Mayfair plus tax, you get the response as two zero. So again. It's a very uh, good document for the developers. So look for the MIFAIR type identification procedure. This is in the public domain. It should be available for download as well. Now, the next thing what I'm going to show you is uh, how to convert this MIFAIR plus to MIFAIR classic. Now, for this, we have to look on the internet. There is a command called write perso command now this i found on internet now what this does is now for me now at this stage we are we are more interested in how to send this uh, transparent uh, session commands and transparent session okay now again this the you have to have the tx and rx parity bit so there's no crc so the command for that is uh, it's a very lengthy command Now again, this command is available on internet. It's something to do with the, the writing a 16-byte uh, password to the address 9000. And all these are MIFAIR plus uh, commands. And for me, you know, what, I, what I'm interested is to see uh, what type of tag I've used here. So what type of flags I've used here. So the flags I've used is... Uh, Zero three. So let's see why it is uh, zero three. If you see the documentation, go back here. It's we are just setting you know this. Uh, I don't know why it's a, it's a TX and sorry you have to send this uh, TX and both the parity and the CRC are enabled here. For this is a good example of. Uh, setting this tx and rx let's see if it doesn't work now apologize now if you send this now this is in this is exactly what i wanted to mention in this video look at this response we got zero 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 four and zero a 
See, zero A is a, is a acknowledge. It's called acknowledge. Now, to find that, you have to go and look into uh, any of these uh, MIFA attacks. Just search for probably ACK. So this ACK and NAK, you know, they are they are coded somewhere. Hope you can find here. Now this is exactly what I want what I wanted to show you. Now this is a four bit response for acknowledge and uh, not acknowledge. Now this is a four bit number. So the uh, the tag is sending a four bit number. So we got zero A. So this is a positive acknowledgement. If you receive you know like a zero one four or five, these are all the negative acknowledgement. Now we have to go back to this is interesting thing here. Yeah? If you go back to uh, uh, this five zero two documentation, so we got the response zero zero, and if you look at that, the R cross B, we got four. Now this indicates the response was a four bit, and the value of the four bit is zero A. Okay, so this is a a successful uh, response. After that, there's one more command here to send. Again, this is a write perso command, writing to address 9001 with some default value of the password. It's exactly the same thing. You're passing 03. Send. And here also we got... Uh, a response zero a that's fine so before you can convert a mefa plus to mefa classic you have to write probably to three different addresses this is for 9003 send we got a positive response after that you have to write what is called as you know the commit person again what we're interested in is you know these flags so you got a zero three and zero zero so it looks like if the response to your command is just a ack acknowledge four bit you should not set any values for the for the receiver side so again go back to this uh, documentation here you know if these are the flags okay so the first two bits controls the transmit flags and this tr controls the the response flag because these commands say the response is just a ack is not the response is not a, a data it's just a four bit number then you you cannot use you cannot set any of these values so that's really good to know Now with this command also I got uh, this. After that I have to stop the session. Stop the session. Okay. Now if I if I take this tag, like I know now from this point onwards I know this is a, a MIFAIR a classic tag. I can go to so activate that then. I can read entire tag. So we just converted MIFI plus to MIFI classic. So that's all I've got in this video. Uh, I hope you know uh, with these two videos you have a good knowledge about how to use the transmit session. Thanks for watching.